Okay, so in previous videos, we've talked about different cells, animal and plant. We had a look at different tissues in a human. We had a look at the leaf in some detail and the different tissues within the leaf itself. So let's have a look at um, one of the organ systems now, which we've mentioned before, the digestive system. So the digestive system really has three main jobs. It breaks down food, absorb nutrients, and then removes waste. So you've got to get these big insoluble molecules, like say starch, and we have to break them down into the individual glucose molecules that we can actually absorb. So starch actually at the moment is insoluble. But if we can break it down, we can absorb it because it then becomes soluble. It's easier to absorb. So you'll have to excuse my crude drawing of the digestive system. No laughing, please. So effectively, we have an entrance where the food goes into the mouth. And then we have an exit, which is the anus, where the waste gets removed. This is where we remove the feces that's the technical word for your poop and then everything in between is either breaking down the food or absorbing the food so we'll start at the top here so this is the esophagus or what's sometimes referred to as the gullet and basically it's just a tube it's a muscular tube where the food can actually move down into this bag here which is the stomach now the stomach's very important because it contains lots of enzymes. There is acid in there called hydrochloric acid, HCL. And it's also surrounded by muscular walls, which helps to massage and kind of mix up the food into like a pulp. You've got a few organs around the system um, that don't digest the food themselves directly, but kind of involved indirectly. So this is the liver, and the liver's job is to make bile. And this over here, the more round structure here, is called the gallbladder. And then the little tube attached to the gallbladder is called the bile duct. So the liver makes the bile, the bile stored in the gallbladder, and then it's released in the bile duct and it kind of gets added in here into the small intestine. Uh, it helps with fat digestion. Okay, this structure here looks a little bit like a leaf. And that's called the pancreas. And the pancreas's job really is to make lots and lots of enzymes. It's just an enzyme factory. And they get added into the system as well. Now, we then move from the stomach and we move into the inner chamber here, the inner, the inner tubes, much smaller in diameter, this is the small intestine. And the small intestine's job really is to absorb nutrients. So by now, all the molecules are small enough, we can absorb them. It's then passed on to the, this outer layer here, which is called the large intestine. It's larger because it's much wider. Its job is to reabsorb any water and to produce the waste. Just at the end, out of interest, the large intestine here, this is the appendix. And then towards the end of the large intestine, you've got this rounded area here, which is called the rectum, which is where we store our waste. And then eventually we remove it through the anus. So food comes into the mouth, we chew it up with the teeth. Um, the tongue moves it around the mouth and saliva helps to break it down using enzymes and provides lubrication. Moves down the esophagus into the stomach where it's broken down by the acid and more enzymes. Comes into the small intestine where the bile and enzymes from the pancreas are added. Goes into the small intestine where nutrients are absorbed. And then the rest is passed into the large intestine where excess water is taken away. And eventually then the feces, the waste is removed through the anus. So that's just a quick look at the human digestive system.